back and walk away from that boom bot for now. Spike. Although DRX gets the spike plant, they have no idea that they are being completely surrounded. And they have to clear this back angle. They have to clear this. Oh, they're completely pigeonholed into B main. I mean, look at this. Easy pickings for Borkham right now as he gets up a double. Boxing and Mako a bit of a trade, but as they go back into oh. it, Vash leaves himself exposed as he tries to go in for that spike. Defuse, simple shot for stacks. DRX picks out every single bit of uh, utility, every corner. And then now coming into it, oh, buzz. Again, once more, they are surrounded. The paint shells almost tagged him up. Taking a ton of damage. But they're oh. still able to secure the site. And as it comes down into it, only one kill secure, one gun stolen away. Paranoia is out too. Trying to go for some blind sprays. But Jeremy keeps them at bay with his uh, interesting angle. Good fault line from Envy as well. Borkham starts to stick the deep use. Mako able to spray all of them down. It is just one heck of a firing squad. Nappy main door. This time around, it's going to get cleared, though, I believe. Okay. Try and think some plays around the smokes. Bus just satchels in, though, along with the Moonbot, gets a bit more information. But some sprays coming through Jesse Bash from inside of the dark cover. Oh. Not something that DRX expected. Pushes out, gets one more tap onto Bane as well. Rookie does not expect it whatsoever. A is suddenly no longer a viable option, Spike along with the operator a. sounding off. Screen down. Mako has quite an impossible task ahead of him. Yeah, this is near impossible. I mean, yeah, he can get the spike. He's got a time. He could, you know, go to the other side of the map, but he's oh going to be walking into death. Yeah, as soon as that poison cloud ran out, he was just done. They knew exactly where he was. Didn't be one away from there. the Rolling Thunder, though, Quack. They got it. They got the order. Very big tool. DRX slowly doubling back in towards B. This time a bit more of a split push. Jesse Bash traded out. Stacks now peeking outside of market. Trying to soften up the site, soften up some of these blows. The rest of the team now looking in for that spike plant. It is that retakes game, but like you mentioned, Paperfin, it is that rolling thunder available. Oh, man, oh man. Okay, fire it off. Has to push out now. Borkum trying to provide some additional support. Paranoia, although it does connect, timing a little bit off. Able to take that Mako, but it's a one on one versus Bane where Borkum has low HP. So he needs the headshot to seal the deal. Lean around the smoke. Just right up around the edge. Oh. With the weaponry, though. Jax is looking to set up a play. Not able to find it, so good discipline from Team Secret. And now. The entire force of DRX is shifting over towards the A site. Getting ready. And oh, oh, Jeremy! Oh, what? Jeremy! <laughs> okay, two taps. 30 seconds Bane left. thankfully trades it right back. This is not a round that DRX should be losing, but some individual heroics, and all of a sudden you might be looking at tables turned upside down. Envy now with the Guardian taps away. All that's right left is going to be eight. Buzz. Borka makes it a trade, and this round lurks that are going to be attempted by Team Secret. So they are going to be drifting in this direction. Going out. Okay. The smokes, though, they are good. Some counters coming up now, and it just calls for the signal to spray through. Buzz manages to capitalize on that to punish down on towards Envy. So a bit of a TP away, and Borgum tries to stay alive, but still, how long can you really keep yourself alive if DRX is trying to pull up a bit of a split push, trying to go in for this quick 180. Doesn't quite go through. Jeremy, even with a showstopper, gets shut down mid-air by Mako. Stacks now coming back into it, too. And all that's left is none other than NDG. Tries to walk up. Toxic screen down allows him to creep forward. But again, look at the positioning, the crossfires. Stax can easily wrap back around Elbow, and NDG would be none the wiser. Able to get the spray down, though. Only for the first. Yeah, I kind of think he gets some rotates, but Stax, for whatever reason, thinks, okay, well, maybe A is going to be the better option. You know, we've got enough attention over there. We really don't have a lot of information. Maybe, maybe it is still going to be a B hit. They've got to wow. worry about mid, and the smokes are up, and the door is down. 
As soon as they break the door, though, look at this. The instant left. response from Team Secret. They've got to watch Market. Wow. Oh, there's that perfect rolling thunder, but Buzz shuts it down with a shorty. It'd be a good double spray, but then Mako comes back in for the trade. Buzz tacked down 8 HP from the shadows denied, and Borkum is here and ready to play. NDG just stays tucked away in the corner. Ten seconds, 10 seconds left. Mach and Bane have to shoot their way out of this one. And they managed to do it. Spike Borkum play. not quite arriving on time. Mako invests the Viper's Pit to secure this round indefinitely. How's Borkum going to work his way around this? Bit of a dark cover. Good peek into it. But again, crossfire. Two players set up right in front of him. Doesn't matter if you're stunned or not with that thing. Like you're, you just got to get him close enough. Incredible. And now ults again, cycling well for your X. Okay. Judge, though. Nine ball execute. Oh, wait, did it connect? And it allows for <laughs> just Evash and NDG to walk away with a bit of a steal. Stacks and Foxy9 thankfully trade back up, though. That was a little bit odd. But nonetheless, here comes Team Secret with a bit of a retake attempt. Good double peeks out. Envy managing to trade for Jeremy. 2 1 2. Sneaking back up around One the pillar, Stax comes up from behind. Mako able to hold his own as well. Once again, he's got that toxic screen. 30 that seconds is a left. Bit pesky, oh, but right now it's not up. Team Secret gets to walk in. Footsteps being heard now. Foxy calls the rotations over. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, wire. great trip. Doesn't quite connect it or convert into the okay initial kill gets Jeremy. Uh, a bit of a Buzz? team kill by Buzz. But as they continue to push forward, Borkum can't quite make his way through. I mean, Foxy 9's damage has been done. Dark cover in front of NDG as well. And wow, he's not even on the defuse. Just knows that NDG would push past it. Uh, it's both pistols on this map going the way of DRX and Definitely felt like maybe a must win for Team Secret in this situation. Uh, given how one sided the first half was, you know, that follow up pistol after you get kind of bullied like that. Sheriffs, they can secure a weapon or two. DRX definitely knows to anticipate this, so playing it's extremely safe. Buzz with the outlaw. Punches right through two players. Got you. <laughs> Bulldog now. <laughs> Swung over the one head. Enemy remaining. Oh my. Spike down B. And again, the crossfires are so good. <laughs> Buzz reliable. Stream into its elbow. They need a little more utility to clear this angle right off of this. Mako. Great positioning. Great shots, too. Able to catch up the first. A good dink. But nonetheless, better coming out from Envy. Team go. Secret deal against DRX with Brimstone and Fury. <laughs> Spike planted. Not the agent Brimstone. The oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I liked your saying, though. I really did. I mean, I like Brimstone as an agent, but maybe not so much on this map. You, you cosplay as a good Brimstone. <laughs> I could. I could. I wish I had Steve Bloom's voice to oh, uh, man. pull off the Brimstone lines, but no, I, mean, just, just I say, do not. Just say Bub a bunch. Bub. <laughs> He has done some Wolverine. Oh my god! Oh, okay. Close. Okay. We knew that that was not quite going to happen, but I did not. At least for this series. Yeah, TRX has to play way back because of this Rolling Thunder. And you can see they're already kind of trying to find a way to get ahead of it. No. Oh, it's be a one for one. Stacks. Able to play around it. Foxy9. Look at this. Cyber Cage just blocks off so much. Great rolling thunder from Envy, though, allows for the rest of Team Secret to break past this initial Spike defense. Planted. Now Here. you've got Stax hey. and Buzz. The duo. So this time, try and make use of some of these positions. NDG, though, able to catch out against Stax. And now, Last now looking like much standing. more of a bit of a, okay. Tricky situation for, uh, for TRX. I thought they'd rather than shoot it, but he's trying to find an angle, trying to see if ah. somebody won't be ready for his position. Doesn't quite see all too much. The He's got least, all this info, right? Yes, he knows it's going to be an A hit oh, for the Jesse. team. Great pickoff by Jesse. Foxy <laughs> has to break that trip, and there he goes. The rest of the team now just trying to play around some of these unorthodox or closer range duels. Team Seeker respects it. They don't want to mess with Mako's corner. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> he. He did some damage the last time from his position. So now they're waiting out the smokes. Toxic screen is gonna come back up. Bane's able to take down one. Wow. Oh, Buzz. No way. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Engage trigger. Good little right click. That all comes down to stacks. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. I just noticed that his keyboard shortcuts. It says VCT. <laughs> oh my gosh, it does. That's adorable. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, nice. Nice pick up there. That's something I never look at. Like <laughs> I, know. I don't normally look at it, but. <laughs> It's on the other side as well. Show stopper in a girl that If anything, I'd say looking a little bit more likely for Team Secret as they anticipate this push coming out. Jesse Vash with two Hunter Sphere kills. Mako exactly trying to spot some heads, but not quite any connections. It all comes down to Foxy. The stab off this initial onslaught. Oh, good sprays, but you know, not quite able to do it all by himself. So one on three now, Mako. Spike planted. Initial flick, spots the head. Gets tagged by the yellow drone too, though. If he gets peaked by some of these players together, that's gonna be tough. In fact, they're just gonna play it safe. Oh, he tries to sneak through, but spotted by the recon. Plays around the pillar. Double dips the RX aren't, I don't know, calling a timeout or not, not uh, feeling so chill. Yeah, I mean, I think, oh, wow, Mako. That stinger. Okay. Takes Jeremy right out. Don't need it. Just getting a read against Team Secret now. Look at this push and pull with the utility there. What? A drive by, a paranoia right after it, and then a follow up. That's great synergy. Sensing the timings too, but now that his teammates fall and Mako knows to back up, holds the off angle instead. He's got teammates watching the other entrance if needed. They can't go this way. I mean, with, with where Jesse oh. is, I think you need to go to the other side of the map right now. Foxy9 then would have to be the the difference maker here. If he falls, B falls along with him. He might just walk into this. The crowd is cheering it. Oh my god. Alright. As they say, squeaky bum time. <laughs> Jesse still staying tucked away. If then Foxy pushes out. And every alt in the world here. Oh! Now the neural theft become huge. There it is. Picks up the vandal, spots them through his cyber cage, sneaks under their noses. They have no idea. Oh, oh they heard the footsteps. Now. Buys time for his team to arrive on the scene. Stacks with a knife ball, bait up from behind. It'd be down at one HP. It's the headshot from. And it really shows. I mean, if he's able to adjust mid game like that on his own. Now the oh, calls are oh on their way. Oh, flick just shy of an inch. Jeremy able to sneak the entry through. A blind showstopper even connects onto Mako. And it's gonna be Team Secret looking to capture the sights. Jeremy overextending his welcome just for a second. Stacks able to shut him down. Didn't even hit a bullet. The playing drone. Unfortunate. But at the very least, the team is here. Vash still on the op. Nobody's able to for any sneaky peeks. Scanning ahead. Great spot for his recons to connect. Stacks ducked it though. They might not realize Stacks coming out of market. Oh, Jesse Ware. Shots. Bane and Stacks though. What? And all of a sudden, oh my god! It'd be great rolling thunder just as One more. But TRX looking to close this one out. Going up. Jeremy going for the quick entries. Now we've got a bit of a split push coming into where it's A. They've managed to capture Elbow. Mako trying to stay hidden. NDG deals with him just quick. And that's going to be the spike down pretty soon. What is Foxy9's game plan here? Yeah, that time Team Secret turns up the tempo and it catches Mako off guard enough. He thought maybe he had enough time to use that utility. Jeremy takes Bane off the top of that box. Really nice diligence. Very close. Oh, what? Grenade. Two snaps. Push forward. Prowler wall. gives him all he needs. He even gets a wall back onto Borkum past that box. Pops the showstopper. This could be it. NDG dodges. Goes back in for the third kill. Stacks now playing off of the defuse. Secures the round for DRX. I mean, you got to like what you're seeing here from DRX. You know. Being dealt kind of a tough hand coming into this match. They handle it very, very nicely. Foxy popping off, Bane slotting it so well with his first match with the, the, the tier one DRX team. He's again, played for their prospect team before, but.
answer. Cause we're, we're not on that rank board thing. We don't have our ranks yet. We oh. haven't gone for our placement. So I'm just going to change my answer just to mess around with Victoria and say that I think this is going to be a quick game. DRX is going to take this really quickly. Bane is going to start things off with an initial, initial kill onto Jeremy. Oh. A hop over and he just clicks away. Stacks One now with a bit of a remaining. double two. And all of a sudden it's going to be Envy who's not quite able to do all too much. Too many targets in front of him. And uh, Team Secrets open for Bane. Trying to see if he can spray someone down, but just enough time there for Team Secret to squeak on through. They're just going to try to death ball it. Buzz is going to have to put down some good shooting. He's got stacks there. A little bit across. Oh, oh man. One well, remaining. the death Spike ball gets A. received, gets taken really quickly. NDG even getting hit by the paranoia now. He knows that he's going to be surrounded. Tries to swing around, but Bane makes quick work of him. 2 and 0. Oh. Pulled away from A, Rubble. Ouch. Cover going now. It's all down to Bane. Took a tick of damage there. Most of that was from the decay. Oh, was. Oh, oh, oh my god. Set up. Spike down A. Both of them are down. So it's not impossible for a team secret to recover from that. And you don't have any of that KJ utility online. 30 seconds left. You lost NDG in that exchange to, to check for Mako's late lurk. You can just set this up. You got plenty of time here. Yeah. Envy trying to get ahead Boys of it, but order. actually, in fact, nobody's there. there. It's even pinged out by Derek. So aware that somebody could be pushing Boys this. Okay, Foxy. Spots out the barrels. Tries to go in front of the spray with the Spectre. Knows that he doesn't quite have the Tell optimal range for that duel. Runs up around the other side. Last Team instantly dead. here to receive One and help him remaining. out, Jesse Vash. Although he did get the first two kills, Foxy9 will put him in a coffin. It's just spectacular awareness from DRX to know that somebody was likely to push so through the top A area. And they're just ready for it. And Foxy plays it so well, realizes round. It's a bit of an anti eco. Death Ball works out for the time being. They take down Buzz. Paranoia does connect onto Bane as well. Borkum doing great work with this. However, Mako well timed on the Toxic Screen, just able to push them off. And he even gets a collab. Exactly. Bane trying to fire off away as well. Team Secret having to hang back for a second. They did manage to retrieve a weapon though, I think. Phantom in the hands of Envy. And but again, look at no this. KJ. All that Hello. Utah's dead. This is so brutal. Okay. Bane just has to stay tucked away. Foxy 9 in case they try to rotate back. Team Seeker gonna tap the spike any second now. This is just giving Foxy more time to move into position. Stacks now making his way off of B. Oh, Very man. tough for Team yeah. Secret. They gonna try to sneak. Cover going out. Got three blocked off. Everyone's here and ready to party. Envy trying to play close contact. Oh. Able to take down Mako. That's quick. Gets oh. the angle onto Foxy9 as well. Envy taking things into his own hands. Just does the round for his entire team. Incredible decision making. That half by. And he's got a pit here on the back of that 4K, so this could be a really, really difficult round for DRX and put Team Secret right back into it. And that's so needed. Again. Oh my god, Jeremy. Quick moves. Double kill already for Team Secret. Make that a third as everyone starts to chime in. Buzz, despite having the Vandal, is going to have his work cut out for him. Not quite able to retake by him. Paranoia out. That's huge. Until we gone, they might just be able to, if they can take this site, uh, DRX doesn't quite have enough utility for the retake. Actually doubling back into B now. Stex was not prepared. Showstopper will connect for Buzz though. Not able to land the spike, but Jeremy turns back around. Bad. Buzz <laughs> answers back. One enemy remaining. Mako getting one for left. himself as well, and that's all down to Jeremy now at 2 HP. 30 seconds on the clock. Opponents could be anywhere. It just when you think Team Secret has got some momentum, Buzz just shuts it right down in that round. Not much time to work with here. Has to grab the spike and plant it immediately. Left. 
I have this bike. Look at the player count. Jeremy's eyes constantly shifting um, towards the map. Uh, no time at this point. Tries to bait out Buzz, but yeah, there's the initial lockdown coming here from Team Secret. Pushes them away. Brings the timer down to oh my. Uh, 25, 20 seconds. It's pinged. But they, they, they might turn off. Foxy's kind of aware Boy. of it. Yep. Caught. Nightfall out at the right time, too. Buzz going in along with it. Initially found Envy. Uh, but Envy's still a menace. Staying inside of the Viper's Pit. He goes in all around the corners. Now outside of the Viper's Pit. He slipped around. Jeremy working along with him. They bought enough time. They pushed the best player out of Filthy. I think so. I'd agree with you. All right. Oh, boy. Good flash. Well, no, that was a team flash. Allows for a bit of an initial kill, but because it's just pistols, Team Secret's still able to walk away with a kill. I think Jeremy meant to turn away from that one. Spike but planted. that's it, Spike goes down. It's only Foxy9 with the uh, Stinger, maybe stacks with the Sheriff. Not the end of the world. Losing one player as long as the rest of this is clean. Taco? Oh. Wait. No way. Just a Stinger for Foxy. Good response coming out from Jesse Bash, too. Although Foxy did pick up the weapon, now playing around with the positioning, just tapping that door, it makes him think. Foxy now is starting to feel very uncomfortable in this position, and he walks into the double stack. Team Secret tied things up four to four. We do have Mako's pit to work against, though, but what is this from Buzz? Oh, he goes, he goes in for a showstopper, connects onto a third. Just a little bit overheated for a second. Borkum able to shut him down, but Mako coming back in, asking Team Secret to take a seat, please. Be careful up here as DRX, but let's see if they can make another crunch work. Oh, that spot. Oh, there's that ref around now. Bus starting to make a move. He knows that they could be rotating over front to B. Foxy9 knows it's too risky to peek out, so he just doubles back, lets the lockdown go, and Team Secret gets the sight. Look at Mako, though. Dodging all that utility. Oh, saw the barrel. That's going to be uh, DRX securing yet another kill. Jeremy's going to be the, the one that blocks off Baby Door. DRX continues to try to push through, but not quite able to swing past Jeremy. Oh, NDG now chiming in. Foxy9 out from behind. Jeremy swaps over the Classic just to keep himself alive, but... DRX takes them apart. It's just that's Link blocked off, Heaven blocked off too. Stax just disrespecting the smokes, walks out front, picks up the triple. Foxy nine shots being fired up around C as well. Senses gives the warning signal to Team Secret that they should fall back. Now they know that Bane is in a bit of a tough spot. Oh, playing it patiently. Envy knows the swing is about to come, takes down both Buzz and Bane. So good, the way that Team Secret takes their time on this A hit this time, they get themselves in a position where they're ready for where Buzz and Bane have been playing. One behind Rubble, one next to the door. 30 seconds they're, left. Envy's just so fast with that transfer too. It's absolutely insane. Spike planted. They figured it out. Remaining. Now DRX, whatever they try in this retake, dropping off of heaven, walks right into welcome and open arms of Jeremy. Okay, Foxy9. Man. Starts off with a bit of a double. Team Secret knows where he's about to approach from. What are you gonna do? Drop your turret. They're like just waiting for him to drop. Oh, he's gonna use that. Ah. Uh, I was like, he's gonna use that toxic screen against him, but. And if they go, this is gonna be tougher, I think, if they go B. They may, they're not gonna realize it, but. 30 seconds left. There we go. 30 seconds left, though. Paint shells well timed by Jeremy. Sheriff shot fired off as well. Bane. Pinpoint headshot coming in. Five Doesn't quite swap two. over to the Sheriff, and his strike flicks will work out. Now picks up the Sheriff. He's going John Wick. Jesse Vash. Not quite able to fight back as Bane voices. Um, even in the previous round, getting oh, a good Jesse. sense for things. Jesse gets all of this delicious information right now. Pulls out the Titan Mail Mace. They have no idea. He slipped by the turret. 
one. All right, first pick. <laughs> Bane answers back with the Vandal. Here. <laughs> when in doubt, Bane is on rubble. <laughs> there we go. That's what the oh, Duelist Omen players do, but Borkum now comes back in for a bit of a right click. NV getting taken out too. Here. Mako is still pretty much in control of it with his snake bites. Forces them off of the defuse. Got Bane just here to support as well. Going for a bit of a tap. Secondary dark cover coming out. One enemy remaining. What we got to do is just continue to spray. He got at the right time. Okay. All right, a little bit of paranoia. Buzz on the other side. Watching for those peaks, stacks, and buzz. The main stays. Taking what is there. So it's DRX 10 to 5. Don't even need a TP. All that stuff. It's certainly superb at and Bane's you know been around the team long enough he has a pretty good idea as well Prospects. oh my god Sax. okay okay bash able to keep them away for a second Jeremy with the classic actually connecting on Foxy Borkum says no you're not gonna go through link it be now with the sheriff a double connection only a bit of a trade and that's gonna be the thrifty win DRX is really turning up the pace okay Buzz has made his way through, oh. slipped right underneath them. Tries to deliver the uppercut, but NDG shuts him down instead. Perfectly red. And then as we come back into it, it's gonna be Foxy9 going in for a couple more. They're relentlessly pushing forward into the C site. Jeremy answers back with a bit of a showstopper as well. Jesse Bash falling off of it. Picks up the head of pain. Now it's all down to Foxy9 and one on two, and with two players staring down his barrel, not... Okay, from there's all that utility. Just all thrown in towards Rubble. Jerex hears it, and they're like, no, no, we're just gonna go straight to B. Oh, but Jesse! Good idea on the pathing, but and unfortunately, as the lands, uh, it's gonna be Jesse Vash who takes him down instead. A little bit more prepared for this one. Even with the game plan, even with the Ecos, DRX not quite able to land their shots for now. The firepower is still prevailing for Team Secret. Spike has been lost. Are they going to yeah. stack it again? Try yeah. to block the TV? <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't know if they can. I, I, they're a little worried that he's going to push that angle. Okay. Well, so they're just going to kind of deny it. Yeah, try to deny it. 50 seconds. I mean, what is... What is cover going on? What are Bane's options? He's got to get to a site. TP, TP. play. Yeah, that's that's it. There's there's not a lot of other hope. I mean, he's got some time. He could just try to work Stick this through door. Yeah. Does he want to go through stairs? Try to work the link. He's running out of time. Thirty seconds Goes left. Goes just to check link. It's clear so far. Jeremy spotted. Not quite able to get the initial duel set up and everything. But here comes the lockdown for now. Bane setting up for that big push. Everyone from Team Secret is trying to respect this. So easy pathing for Buzz to go through. Sky's Catches out. an unsuspecting Jesse Vash. Forces Welcome him to take to a seat as compared world. to the previous round now. Viper's pick comes up as well. And he has one of his own. Not quite able to use it for the time being. A paranoia being there. sent out by Bane to connect in towards uh, B Link. He now takes a step forward into the frame. Mako just fires down the one choke point, catches onto all of them. Buzz and Bane chiming in as well. It's DRX securing yet another round. Just watching towards door. Jesse Vash trying to gain information, but nobody's there for now. Door opened, tapped again. Borkum knows they haven't pushed into B yet, so it's very likely going to be A. Here comes that showstopper. Oh, the prowler. Just clips Jesse in the back. Spike planted. Great follow-up off the back of that Prowler. Good combo play. Ooh, but Borkum, gonna get Bane down. All right, good initial pick. Counter lockdown coming in. Just waiting for the optimal time to peek out. Maybe going for a tap around the door to make them think that nobody's playing around tree any longer. Mako knows that Borkum is there. Still able to find a couple kills as Team Seeker tries to rotate back onto the site. Last player it's all dead. down to Envy now. And, oh, Stacks not quite able. And we're watching it right now as Bane just sidesteps everything with a shrouded step in towards Jeremy. Mako and Buzz securing each and every single one of their own angles. 
Envy so far has been the hero for Team Secret. Can he do, uh, do it again? Only for the time being Attackers until win. Foxy9 and Mako arrive on the scene. 13 to 8, DRX opens things up in stage one, day one against Team Secret. And that's finally the round where DRX decides to challenge that rubble area. Bane TP's deep. They come in and get a big win over Team Secret. Smiles and what a 